Hello, I'm Randy Leidy, Dean of the College of Health Sciences Professions here at Ohio University. I'm standing in the beautiful atrium of Grover Center, the building that's been home to the college since 2001. You know, I spend time every day in this building just amazed at the incredible work of our faculty, staff, and students. And I'm really excited to have a chance to show you more about what goes on here and at all the sites across campus where our people work. So please join me. We'll spend a few minutes letting you learn more about the college and everything that we do. Come on along. Along with the rest of this two century old university, this building has gone through lots of changes since it first came on the scene. When Grover Center was completed in 1960, it was Ohio University's main sports arena. As a matter of fact, its inaugural event was a Bobcat basketball game against Ohio State. Unfortunately, the Bobcats lost. The building is named after Butch Grover. He's an Ohio University alumnus, class of 1919, who was the Bobcat basketball coach in the 20s and 30s. The Grover Center you see today was transformed from a basketball gymnasium into an architectural gem in 2001. The renovation cost $25 million, while the original Grover Center cost less than $2 million to build. How's that for inflation? Over the decades, Grover Center has been a magnet for floodwaters. During the 1960s, the Hocking River washed into the building several times. In 2006, believe it or not, a flood came from inside the building. A pipe burst and heavily damaged all three floors. Nowadays, we get a different kind of flood. It happens every day between classes. The College of Health Sciences and Professions operates a number of clinical services that bring service to thousands of residents of southeastern Ohio. Behind me is our speech and hearing clinic, which has existed here in Grover Center since the building opened in 2001. Our physical therapy clinic operates at a variety of sites, including at Oblenis Memorial Hospital near campus, at Peden Stadium here on campus, and at various other sites around the region. Our HeartWorks program, located at the Castrop Center near campus, provides rehabilitation services to those who've experienced heart disease or other problems. Our social work program participates in the psychology and social work clinic here on campus, and our athletic training students provide services at more than 20 area high schools and also here on campus to our varsity athletes. Not only does the hearing and speech clinic provide critically needed care here in our medically underserved region of Southeast Ohio, it's a valuable resource for students in our Communication Sciences and Disorders program. The clinic gives these students hand-on experience in their future careers. We're all about hands-on learning here. Hello, I'm here in WellWorks, the fitness center that the college maintains. WellWorks has over 1,500 members who visit approximately 72,000 times a year. The members can use the uh, workout equipment here. They can also receive nutrition counseling. They can receive exercise advice, personal training, physiological assessments, and even receive a massage. And I can tell you, after working out here, you know, I'm starting to feel I could use one of those massages right now myself. The center has a permanent professional staff of eight, and it provides more than 80 student employees with a hands-on start on working within their academic disciplines. They perform blood pressure checks, heart rate checks, and give advice on proper exercise techniques. I'm standing in one of the many laboratories the college maintains to support the research of our faculty and students. This one's used by our nutrition faculty for food science research, but we have laboratories where many other research areas are addressed. We have laboratories focused on neurological research, musculoskeletal research, research around exercise physiology and human performance, as well as research focusing on various issues of hearing, speech, and language sciences. There really are incredible research projects going on here every day in labs like this and many of the others. We also have laboratories dedicated to teaching and learning, and you're gonna see one of those now. So I invite you to join me in our nursing simulation laboratory where you're gonna meet a special guest. That's a nasty cough. You really should get that taken care of. You know, my sick friend here can tell you there are over 20 labs in Grover Center where our faculty and students are exploring all kinds of questions about what make human beings tick. 
I'm sure he could tell you what some of them are, but let me do that now. How can hearing aids and cochlear implants be designed to better imitate the workings of the human ear? What combination of bones and muscles are at work when we do something as simple as bend our knee? Are there tools that can help a child acquire language? What are the chemical effects of carbohydrates and exercise on our metabolism? Welcome to the Atrium Cafe here in Grover Center. I know this looks like a coffee shop or a bistro, but it's really much more than that. We serve over 300 customers a day who stop in for a cup of coffee, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The cafe also provides the food for our Kids on Campus summer camp program where they serve approximately 200 students breakfast and lunch every day. It's also one of the few places in Athens where you can stop in for a quick cup of Starbucks coffee, a quick snack on your way to class or to a meeting as well. It's really one of the more exciting places here in the college because so much goes on here. It really is so much more than a coffee shop or a bistro. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the opportunity to learn more about everything that goes on here in the College of Health Sciences and Professions. There really is some incredible teaching, research, and service that happens here every day. We're preparing the physical therapists, the nurses, the exercise physiologists, the athletic trainers, the nutritionists, the speech pathologists, the audiologists, the health administrators, the social workers, the child life specialists, the environmental health specialists of tomorrow. This really is a special place, and I hope you'll stop by sometime to visit us. It really is a wonderful view.